What's good everybody on YouTube? This is your boy Akil McLeod back with another video and today I'm going to share 15 of my last sales from Poshmark just so that I can show you guys what people are actually buying on Poshmark right now. So also keep in mind that a lot of my items uh, have been brand new with tags or brand new with box and I've really just been preparing for the fourth quarter trying to get as much brand new items as possible because right now people are buying brand new stuff for themselves or just brand new stuff to give as gifts and right now people are buying gifts for, for Christmas in advance so definitely keep that in mind as you guys are out there sourcing especially if you want to source at places like outlets like I do because that's something I really wanted to invest as much money and as much time as possible just over the last few months so without further ado let's get into it so first up we got this master's pullover uh kind of like a short sleeve jacket in my opinion this jacket was actually from the brand Sunderland of Scotland and I usually don't look for this brand in particular, but what drawed me to this piece was that little Masters logo on the chest and of course on the sleeve. And this one sold for 30 bucks. I paid $5.99 for this one and it sold within about a uh, little less than a month. So not a ton of profit, but these are the type of stuff that I, I tend to grab because I know it will sell. And for me, that's relatively quick. So I made a decent amount of profit on this. So definitely be on the lookout for anything that has that Masters logo on there. Um, right now, golf stuff isn't going to be selling as hot as it was during the summer. But like I said, I had this for a little while. So all my golf stuff for the most part is pretty much all sold out. Next up, we got a pair of Hunter boots. And I picked these up from the Goodwill for about 7 or 8 bucks. And these weren't as clean as they are now. They were pretty rough, but I did some cleaning to these. And as we all know, when it comes to Hunter boots, it's not hard to clean clean these up you really you could either use soap and water or um, some rubbing alcohol like I used to do but um these sold for 69 bucks I priced them uh, kind of aggressive because I do know that right now people will be looking for uh, hunter boots in particular so I priced them a lot higher and somebody bought them for my full asking price so definitely be on the lookout for hunter boots um, I know Target made a collaboration with hunter as well and those items don't sell for as much but um, if you guys come across anything Hunter, usually just try to price them on the higher end, especially if it's not the Hunter and Target collaboration. Next up, we got a pair of sneakers from Hoka11. You guys, if you follow the channel, you know I sell this brand all the time. Uh, these sneakers were in also really good condition. I just made sure I cleaned the midsole, make sure that they were um, really fresh. I think I paid 6 bucks for these at Goodwill. Um, lately, the prices have been going up, but... I guess the, the person that was pricing these was I caught them slipping. So I was able to grab these up for a really good price. And like I said, all I did was clean the midsole and post them up on Poshmark and on eBay. But they sold on Poshmark first. I was asking 49 I got a best offer of 40 And I just went ahead and accepted that. And they sold within about maybe five or six days. Next up, we got a pair of Ugg Ascots. And I purchased these uh, a few months ago uh, in preparation for the fourth quarter. And I knew... Um, these type of stuff would sit for a while because of course now fall fall winter is when people will be purchasing these type of um, Uggs and just boots and winter boots and stuff like that so this was one of those plays that I made months ago in preparation so um, if you guys are new to reselling I suggest you guys just always plan ahead because this is something I really tried to do uh, for the first time and it actually really is paying off so definitely be on the lookout for um Anywhere where you can get brand new tags items because those are the stuff that's going to be selling uh, for a much higher price point and a lot faster during the next uh, few months. Next up, we got a pair of Air Jordan uh, 8s and these were in the South Beach colorway. And I purchased these a while ago, um, maybe four or five months ago. And these finally sold for 95 bucks. I was asking 119 then I lowered the price to 109 Got a best offer of 95 and I just went ahead and accepted these. So as you all know, Jordans always sell for a decent amount of profit. Certain sizes take a lot longer than others. I believe if this was maybe a size 8 or a 9, I would have sold them a lot earlier. And I would have probably made some more money. But these larger sizes don't usually sell as well for me. But of course, I still had to pick them up because they were in really good condition. And it was one of those things where I just couldn't say no to. Next up, we got another pair of Uggs. And these, I also purchased this with the Ugg Ascots, uh, as I showed you guys earlier. And these, this was probably with the worst... Um, pickup that I had. I purchased these for about $17 and they sold for $30. Uh, this style just wasn't as popular as I thought it would. It took a very long time to sell and not to mention I also had size 5 and 5.5 five and in these shoes and 5 and 5.5 five and were just a really tough sell. So learn from my mistakes. Size 5s and Uggs usually don't sell that fast or for that much profit but I still did make some money but not as much as I originally intended on. So definitely keep that in mind if you guys are sourcing uh, smaller sizes for women. Next 
Next up, we got this Dallas Mavericks jersey for kids, and this is actually Luka Doncic number 77. I purchased this for two bucks from Goodwill, and this was brand new with tags as well, and it sold for my full asking price of 29 bucks. So all jerseys, I'm usually always trying to pick those up, whether it's for kids, men, women. I'm always trying to sell jerseys because they usually sell for some decent profit. So you guys should definitely be on the lookout for those as well. Next up, we got this North Face uh, fleece zip up. And this one was in really good condition. I believe I got this on the half off day. So I probably paid three or four bucks for this one. And the only downside to this is that it did have uh, some company branding on the sleeve. It said Striker. Not exactly sure what the company that is or what it's related to, but I just made sure I let the buyer know that it was going to have a striker logo on the sleeve. Took a good picture of it, and it sold for 25 bucks. I was asking 29 I got an offer of 20 countered at 25 and then I was able to uh, seal that deal. Next up, we got a pair of Superga sneakers, and Superga isn't a brand that sells for a ton of profit, but it's one of those brands that people love, and it usually sells pretty quickly for me, similar to Converse. And I picked these up for, I think, five or six bucks. They sold for 23 Not a ton of profit, but I cleaned them up really well, and I gave somebody a really good deal. I was asking 29 I got an offer for 23 and I just went ahead and accepted that, and it sold, I believe, in one day. Next up is another pair of Jordans, but these were actually for boys, and these sold for my full asking price price of 39 bucks and these are the Air Jordan Dub Zeros just in case you guys um, weren't aware and I paid two bucks for these from a garage sale so these were a really nice find for me they were pretty rough pretty dirty but I was able to clean them up and I believe I got a comment not too long ago if someone said if I clean the bottom of shoes absolutely not I clean the uppers to the best of my ability and I leave the bottoms alone because at the end of the day uh, people are going to be walking on the bottom. Now, don't don't get me wrong. Some people would would suggest cleaning the bottom of shoes because you might be able to ask a little more money. And some people um, they want to see the bottoms of the shoes looking really clean, and that would make them want to spend a little more. But for me, I don't really trip about that, especially since I'm buying stuff. Uh, especially since I bought these shoes for only two bucks. Next up is another pair of Uggs. Like I told you guys before, this was something I had in the inventory for a while, and it was something I planned on selling during the fourth quarter. And of course, it's sold now. So definitely, like I said, I was I put a lot of preparation and a lot of money up front to kind of get my inventory prepped and ready for the fourth quarter. And now it's finally starting to pay off. Next up is another pair of Uggs. And these were also brand new with the box. And I have a few of these in inventory right now. This is the only size 11 and a half that I had. I had these listed for 79. I got a best offer of 70 and I went ahead and accepted that one. And like I said, this is all part of me just prepping for fourth quarter. Next up is a pair of Adidas Energy Boost, and these came out of the personal collection. I bought these um, maybe sometime last year. I believe I spent 30 bucks for these at, Go at Goodwill, and they were brand new at the time. And I wore these to the gym uh, faithfully, and I finally decided to just clean these up and list them on Poshmark, and they sold the same day that I listed them for 35 bucks. So if you guys come across any Adidas Energy Boost, don't expect a ton of profit on these because these don't usually sell um, for a ton of money. But as long as they're clean, you could definitely make a very quick sale. Next up is another pair of Uggs. And as you guys can tell, I've been selling Uggs like crazy because I was purchasing a bunch of these. Nothing special about these. I was asking 109 They sold for 100 And I believe I spent 25 bucks for these. And last but not least is a pair of Nike Air Foam Posit 1s. And these, I paid up a little bit for these. I paid 30 bucks for these shoes. Um, they were in really good condition, so I didn't mind grabbing them up. Only downside to this is that they did have a tear on the on the uppers. But of course, you just got to um, put that in the description, take a very detailed picture so the buyer knows what they're getting. And I had these listed for 99 and they sold for 99 And also, if you guys didn't catch my video where I was talking about the Kicks market on Poshmark, if your shoes are listed for $100 or more, that'll automatically put them into the Kicks market so that buyers that are searching just in that market, they'll be able to see your shoes. And if it's anything under 100 it won't be in the market. However, if you're selling women's shoes, those will definitely, uh, if it's $50 or more, any women's sneakers, $50 or more puts it in the kicks market. So um, that's just a quick tip that I learned while I was backstage at Poshfest. And I just wanted to make sure that I reiterated that just in case you didn't catch my video um, guest speaking at Poshfest. But like I said, these shoes, these are actually in my size. I was thinking of keeping them, but for 100 bucks and only spending about 30 on these, I knew it was something that I had to sell as soon as possible. All right, y'all, that's all I got for today's video. So if you guys enjoyed that one, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.
I should've never offered it. I'm tight and now I'm off this shit. You should 